Every year, people who arrive in Houston like refugees are about 2,500 to 3,000. I'm a case manager here at the Alliance for Multicultural Community Services. I deal most of the time with the refugee coming from Congo. Being new itself is complicated, it's hard. America is so different from where they come from. How confusing is it to newcomers to navigate our healthcare system? Most of them, they don't know what is uh, healthcare. They have to have a primary care physician, especially children. They have to get the immunization, sure, right? And all this need to be, uh, they need to be taught about it. So I'm working on an online map for uh, refugee health resources that are in Houston. Tell me about your journey in physically creating this web portal. I had not put together a website like this before. I hadn't put together a directory or a map or done any of this before. But I think I'm close to pretty much just finishing up with the map, the coding part. So right now what I'm doing is adding in um, a couple more language options because, of course, refugees come from all over the place and they usually don't really know any English. Having that language commonality with their health provider really helps to kind of lower the barrier to health access. They don't have to spend so much time looking for the wrong ones or going to ones that um, don't offer the services that they need. And for refugees, because it's kind of hard for them to get around anyway, um, this is something that could potentially be really helpful. So this project was a part of a fellowship. Tell me about the fellowship. So I'm working as an Albert Schweitzer Fellow. This is kind of a group of graduate students. We each have our separate individual projects that we work on um, with a target population. Has there been any testing by the caseworkers? Have they given you any feedback? They talked to me about how they wanted to be able to search for certain things um, and then also maybe a few notes about whether or not refugees have been sent to those physicians before and whether that was a good experience. I'm hoping that refugees will also be able to make use of it in addition to caseworkers and so um, I just want them to be able to see it and to maybe um, know how it works and also to get feedback from them if something seems really off to them. This weekend actually is the Refugee Healthcare Fair. I wanted to talk to them about the barriers to healthcare, if they're seeing doctors and if they're not then what are the reasons why. <laughs> 